I'm Lily Steiner. I've been an entrepreneur since I was six or seven years old. And I want to put more money and more time to enjoy it into your life. I'd like to tell you about a couple of people I've met not so long ago. One of them is a gentleman who's in his 70s. He was a teacher most of his life, loved teaching, earned a reasonable salary, managed on his salary. And when he retired, he figured that he would be quite happy to live the rest of his life. He was in his mid to late 50s, which is not that old anymore. Uh, live it out on his porch, watching the world go by. You see and you know that as a teacher, you salary is not that much and your uh, retirement salary is even less but life is pretty good on the back porch so he didn't mind he invested in a home or two and fixed it up and flipped it but then the market went bad and instead of making a few dollars in real estate he started to lose a few dollars in real estate never a good thing to do so he tried a few other things and a few other businesses because even in his late 50s, early 60s, he was very vibrant. He was very alive. He, he's certainly not old and certainly not old enough to just sit on the back porch doing nothing. But as the different businesses that he tried did not succeed, he became more and more apt to not try anymore. Now, he was really fortunate because one day his wife came across somebody that introduced her to a business that they could get into at a very low cost and start themselves. I'll tell you more about this business and others like it that you can get into at a very low cost a little bit later on. But the point of my story and the reason I'm telling you this now is because for him, Getting into this business and becoming successful in it was not about the money. You see, the reason he became successful is because he really loved the people around it that were also involved in this business and that were also helping him. So his motivation for success, for doing what he needed to do, because he wanted to prove himself to these new friends of his that he'd recently met. He became so successful that he doubled the amount of money he was making as a full-time teacher. And so in his mid-60s, going into his 70s, what he found was that his life had more excitement, more passion. He was travelling all over the world and he didn't have to sit on his porch, which he would have been quite happy to do and it wouldn't have been a bad life. The reason I'm telling you this story is that money and time are not just about having things. It's about improving the quality of your life, about the things you can do with your life. And not just your life, but having more money allows you to help people more as well. The other person I met that I want to tell you a little bit about, actually a couple, are a couple of college kids. A couple of college kids found this exact same business. And they had taken out huge student loans. They were doing law. And instead of taking a regular part-time job, such as waitressing or valet parking or, or whatever it is that students do at minimum wage, they got involved in this business that they were the owners of. And they started having fun with this business. So that by the time they finished their law degree at college, they had paid off all their student loans. Not only were they then able to start clean with no loans and no debt behind them, but they still had money coming in. You see, these businesses also gave them a residual income. So instead of going to intern in a law office for 60, 80 hours a week straight out of college, they decided to take a year off, go to a third world country, help out there and then come back and start their law careers. And they were able to do that because they got involved in their own business. There are a number of different businesses which you'll be able to access on my website and I'll tell you about separately. I tell you these stories because creating another income doesn't have to be a full-time job. The gentleman who was in his late 50s, in his 60s, didn't want to go out and take another job. He'd already worked all his life as a teacher. These students didn't have full time to go out and work. 
they were studying and they were good students. One of them was the, the valedictorian of their year. And just as an aside, one the, uh, the, the, the guy in this story, his dad was an attorney, he had been an attorney for many years, had put him through college. But when his dad saw the results that his son and future daughter-in-law were having, he quit his law practice and got into this business as well. Because you see, it's not just about making money, it's also about having more time. It's working smarter and not harder. And you can do this too. Now there are a lot of advantages to having a really good job. You get a paycheck every single week or every month or whatever your pay timeline is. You also get to get to have a satisfaction out of doing what you're doing. But there are also huge drawbacks and some of those drawbacks are very serious. If you have children and your child is not well, are you able to take time off from your job to stay home and look after a sick child? Are you able to take time off your job and go and look after sick parents? Does your job allow you the money to have put away so that if you need to go somewhere for an emergency or you need to travel to see family members, are you going to be able to do that? I'm not here to ask you to change your career path or change anything major about your life. You can keep your job. I want you to know that you've got choices about making small changes in what you're doing and the way you live. And those small changes can bring more money into your life. Now, with a little bit of extra money, to some people a little bit of extra money is $200 a month. To other people, a little bit of money is $5,000 a month. It doesn't matter what it is for you. You can have that extra money in your life, that little extra bit put away, so that if an emergency does arise, you don't have to worry about where the money is going to come from for you to be able to do those things, like travel to visit parents, Sit, in a sit next to your child in a hospital bed if you need to, or even stay home if they've got the flu or the mumps. You see, money gives you those choices. So I'm excited about giving you some opportunities to make changes in your life. Now remember, changes don't have to be permanent. There are about seven or eight different companies that I can suggest to you that are win-win situations that I can coach you through starting that have different advantages and disadvantages but things that you can do and try in your life if you don't like them if you find that it's not what you want to do you can go back to doing what you did before change doesn't have to be permanent but at least know that your life can be a little different and really, that's what my purpose is. Everything that I can offer you, I can offer you free of charge on my website. There's a series of videos about the different companies that I want to introduce you to that you can try or not. There are uh, worksheets that you can download and print out. You don't need to send them back to me. They're for you to give you insight into what you're doing and what your possibilities are. Now, if you'd like to work with me, then I need to make money too. But everything that I'm offering, I'm also offering to you free of charge if you want to do it yourself. So consider where you are in your life. If time and money were no object today, what would you choose to do tomorrow? If you would choose to go and do your job, that's great. Nothing wrong with doing that. But what about expanding those options as well? I live in the United States now. We are guaranteed the right to pursue happiness. And happiness for me is having the time and the money and the passion to do whatever you want with it.